Hey guys, so I've started putting up my Disneyland Paris vlogs at the time of filming this number one and two are up. Um, so I thought I'd just interrupt that obviously with my Disneyland Paris haul video um, and then part three will go up the week after this which I think will be the last part. Um, some of the footage that I remember taking has disappeared and I don't have as much as I thought it would and whatever. So yeah, I think there'll only be one more vlog after this. But yeah, I thought I would get this haul done. This is not going to be like my biggest Disneyland Paris haul ever or Disney haul ever um, for two reasons. Partly because we are going to Florida next month which is crazy. Um, I feel like we've been talking about it for so long it's like oh it's, it's here like so we knew we were going to Florida like in May um, when we were in Disneyland Paris so we kind of we were trying to be a bit more sensible but also because I think when we were there we were just there in that kind of time just before the 25th anniversary merchandise was all launching and um, so there wasn't that much stuff that we wanted so that actually worked out really well and um, but anyway I've rambled quite enough now so I'm just gonna get started. The bag number one. I have been wanting this for ages. You actually can get this at the Disney store in the UK but it's been sold out. This was one of the other things that kind of stopped us buying stuff actually was that a lot of the stuff that was there was not park exclusive merchandise, it was stuff we could actually have bought in the Disney store in the UK um, and because the exchange rate is so awful just now it was working out cheaper to buy things at home but this wee guy I wanted for ages had seen him in the Disney store in the UK um, online but always was sold out, I hadn't been able to buy him. Of course as soon as we came back this trip he came back in stock but I don't even care because I'm just so glad that I got him. And it is Lucifer from Cinderella. Look at his little tail. Um, and he's got such a cute little face. My cat actually, as you guys might know if you watch some of my other videos, one of my cats got put down uh, last year, which was really, really sad. Um, and actually we came back to the worst news from our Disneyland to Paris holiday that um, on the day we came back, my other cat had actually got put down that morning at the vet. So this has been kind of my, um, my surrogate cat, he's been my little kind of grief cat counsellor, I've just been cuddling onto him because he is actually quite a good, um, like quite a sturdy one, like he's nice, he's squashy and he's cuddly but he's he's actually quite a, quite realistically cat sized, um, he is quite large. He came in at 29.99 and I believe he's 18.99 to buy in the Disney store in the UK so you are definitely cheaper getting them in the UK if you can because as I say the exchange rate is so terrible just now but his little label does say Disneyland Paris um, but yeah it is the exact same soft toy that you can get but I'm just so glad that I got him I don't really I don't really care about the fact I paid more for him because he's so cute and I love him a lot in one of my little bags I have got I just turned this light down because the sun was moving and now it looks like it's moving back as soon as I've done that but solid guys um, but I've got this little Merida figure, she is super cute. These are only 12 99 which I think is really good value for them. They're just really really lovely, you do have to be quite careful because we looked at quite a lot of these because I knew I wanted one but a lot of them the faces were a little bit dodgy. Ariel seems to be the worst, I seem to see the worst looking Ariels versus all the other characters but yeah I got one that I liked, I think she's got a nice face and yeah I thought she was super super cute and 12 99 I think is really good value. And my other little bag, the other smaller things that I got, well I say they're smaller, I don't actually know what's in the other big bag um, because everything just when we were packing we kind of threw things in but yeah. Uh, number one is a Marie pen. Um, we actually met Marie later on in the holiday after I bought this and she tried to take Scott away from me, she went in a mass, it was like great character interaction obviously, um, but she was like putting her paw in front of my face and like shoving me out the way and just being all over him and I was like, well, you know how, to have, how you feel about me now Marie so I'm going to stop being a fan of you but I'd already bought this pen by that point and this was five euros and 99 cents, so six euros which is really cute. I've got far too many of these, not, I don't have a Marie yet, this is my first Marie um, but I buy these character pens every time and then yeah just keep them in a drawer even once the inks run out I don't throw them away or anything because I'm like oh they're so cute so I've got a drawer of like pens that have no ink in them but they're too cute to get rid of. Um, I got three pins this time and I'm actually really annoyed because this pen I saw on the first day of the holiday and didn't buy it then couldn't remember where I'd seen it and I was trying to get it everywhere and nowhere had it 
and then I finally found it like the, la the morning of the last morning of the holiday I found it in one of the shops and there was only one left and um, I picked it up but Mickey's got like the painting's not right in Mickey's eye and then we went back to the hotel to wait for the bus to get us to the airport and the hotel had one and Mickey's eye was right but I didn't want to I felt really bad if I returned this one and uh, but yeah it's like one of the spinny ones I'll do like some close-up cutaways so you guys can see it better and it says 2017 Disneyland Paris because I do like to get something that commemorates um, the year that we were there um, and so that I can say oh that was our 2017 trip that was our whatever trip um, and yeah it spins round and it's just got the Fab Five on it and Mickey's got his um, Fantasia Sorcerer Mickey outfit on which I love and um, that's pretty much my favourite Mickey so I got that one and then I got two Star Wars pins again this one the Star Wars pin that's got Ray on it this I had to go through a lot to try and find one that was normal and even you'll be able to see in the close up the lettering in this one like it's like not right there's like some, I don't know it's almost like it's been chipped out or something it's really strange but every single one of them had on I just had to try and find the one that was least like that and um, so that was kind of annoying the quality control doesn't seem to be great at the moment DLP sort it out so I just wanted something with Ray on it and that's when it got but you'll see in the close-up like it's really not perfect and that really annoys me but that was the best one we could find and the last one is actually my pin that's okay and that is the Jenna Ursel pin um, again from New Star Wars which I really really liked Rogue One like I know nobody else did but I did I got a little pin with her on it they actually had a t-shirt with her on it but it was you could get it in the Disney store in the UK it was going to work out cheaper for me to get it at home so I was like I'll just buy it at home but it's never came in stock in the Disney store UK website in an age 14 which is what I need and um, it's like, ugh, like I could do an age 12 but it'd be like really uncomfortable so I really would prefer the age 14 um, and I'm really annoyed because I didn't just buy it at the time but at least I got my pin Anyway, we are now into the last bag. I said this wouldn't be a very long haul. And the next thing I've got is also Star Wars merchandise. And again, you could get this in the Disney store, but they actually didn't have it in stock because I was checking the Disney store website to see like what the prices of things were at home, whether I could get them at home or whatever. Um, but it is a little figure and it's got Ray, but it's also got BB-8 in there, which I love BB-8. This was 30 euros and it was, I believe, 22 99 pounds to buy at home, but I see it wasn't in stock. Um, but it, yeah it's got like the Disney store logo on the bottom and stuff so it's and yeah Disney store up here so it's yeah it's not like park exclusive merchandise um, but it wasn't in stock at the time we were in the park and I just really wanted it so I just decided to get it could maybe track this down it might be back in stock now or whatever um, and I believe they were 22 99 to buy at home so cheaper to get in the UK if you like this figure anyway. The next thing is I feel like the most cliched Disney item to buy if you're involved in the Disney community online and it is this jumper which is the same jumper everybody's got and it's just this jumper just the same big grey jumper that everyone else has got it's got Disneyland Paris on it um, and then it's got like Space Mountain Disneyland Park 1992 which is when it opened Walt Disney Studios and Hollywood Tower of Terror logos there and then of course the famous quote I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that it was all started by a mouse which I think we all know what that quote means to all of us I think this is a, supposed to be a men's jumper so I just get a size small but it is still quite kind of big and slouchy as you guys can see but I just really like it um, I feel like everybody has it and I was just that jumper's lovely so I had to buy it and that was 44 99 euros and I know Disney World does have a version with different icons and stuff on it so I may buy that. I've only got two more items to show you. The first one is this little bar of chocolate and it says Disneyland Paris, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy and Pluto on it and this was 7 euros um, but it looks like quite a thick bar of chocolate although I haven't obviously opened it so I don't know and it might be absolutely rubbish chocolate you never quite know but I thought the actual bar was really nice and they had one that had the castle on as well that I meant to buy but obviously just forgot about but yeah I thought that was really cute and then the last thing I've got is a set of two notebooks which I just loved so this was 9 99 for the set of two and I'll just open them out to show you them they both say Disney love on the background and they're both couples so on the front of the first one is Lady and the Tramp which I thought that was really cute um, and that one's just blank inside and then the other one has Thomas and Duchess on the front which 
they are like one of my favourite Disney couples. I just need them to do a Bernard and Bianca notebook in this range and I'd be quite happy. Um, and the Thomas and Duchess one is London side. No idea what I'll use these for. I've got a bit of a weird thing about notebooks where I don't want to spoil them by writing in them. So I'll probably just like own these and look at them every so often and be like, oh, they're lovely and never write anything in them. But yeah, I thought they were just really cute so I couldn't resist them. But that is everything that I got in Disneyland Paris this time. So I say much smaller haul than normal, but We'll be doing some shopping when we go to Walt Disney World, so keep an eye peeled for that haul. I'm sure that'll be much bigger. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll link up parts one and two of my vlogs down below. Um, and I'll come back and link up part three once it's up as well. But stay tuned for that and I will see you soon.